children and the children in the world. Okay, so just to double check, can everybody see my screen? Welcome back, everyone. I hope that everybody's having a good week. Um, like I said, I don't think that we're going to have any new vocabulary today. Um, we're just going to kind of go over what we've been doing. And um, like we do every week, this is um, a review of what uh, we're going to do on this day. Uh, we're going to do 50 to 60. That's a review telling time, uh, like we've been doing. We're going to do, like I said, some practice things like that. So let's see how far we get. So um, to start off for today, um, we have our numbers 50 through 60. And these are just like uh, the other ones. Uh, so as you guys can see, we have like 50 to 21. Give me one second. Okay, is that better, Anisha? Okay. Okay, good. All right. So oh, I'm going where? Okay. So I don't know um, if you heard me, but um, I do have the agenda for today. Um, I think that this might be your first time with us, but that's okay. Um, so uh, what we've been doing each class is uh, we go over like 10 new numbers every day. So uh, today we're going to do uh, numbers 50 through 60. Um, we're going to review telling time, which is what we have been working on. So I have slides on that. We're going to review the homework that was due today um, because I know a couple people are having some issues with that. And uh, we're going to do uh, some more activities and practice with telling time. So because I know, like I said, a couple people are having problems with it. So um, let's start um, with our numbers, 50 through 60. Um, and like we said, the past couple weeks, uh, it's kind of, so we start with a number. So uh, 50 is 50. Um, and we just add e, uno, e, dos to the end. So pretty much it's just um, translated to 51 is 51. 50 and one, 50 and two, 50 and three. So that's kind of how the numbers have been for the past couple classes. And um, it's just pretty much gonna continue like that until we get to a hundred. So, but we'll go over them. So 50 is 50, 51 is 51, 52 is 52, 53 is 53, 54 is 54, 55 is 55, 56 is 56, 57 is 57, 58 is 58, 59 is 59, and 60 is 60. And we'll go over 60 through 70 on um, next class. Does anybody have any questions about the numbers or anything like that? Everybody's okay? Okay, so um, like I said, I don't, we're not really going to do a review of vocabulary because we've been going over that for a couple weeks now. Um, if you do have any questions about it, let me know. We can go over that. And um, yeah, other than that, we should be um, okay with that. Um, and yeah, so um, like I said, if you don't know any of that, if you have any doubts about that, just send me an email or we can talk about it right now. So just let me know. So um, let's get right into um, our telling time review. Um, so remember, uh, telling time is a little bit different than it is in English. So let's remember our formula that we use. So we either use es or son, which literally translates to it is, and we're gonna add la or las, depending on the number that we're using and the number. 
So remember, es and la is singular. So we're only going to use es and la when we're using one, when it's one o'clock, when it's 1.30, when it's 1.45, anything like that. All other numbers, it's 2.30, it's 3.30, it's 5.30, it's 12.30, any of those, we're going to use son and las. So um, I have some examples here. We have es la una, which means it, it is one o'clock. And you see how we use es and la when it's una, because it's one. So um, another example we have here is son las tres, which means it is three o'clock. And you see how we use son and las because it's more than one, it's three. So, and I do have right here, we only use es and la for one and all other numbers we use son and las for. Um, okay, does that make sense? Do we need any more clarification on that? Like I said, I do have a bunch of practice and things like that. So, um, or is everyone okay with that? Everyone's okay. All right. So, um, and moving on. So when we want to add minutes, we just add them to the end of the formula. So um, we use es or son, just like we did before. And we're gonna add la or las, just like we did before. And we're gonna add, oops, sorry. Um, we're gonna add the number, which is one through 12. We're gonna add and, e, and the number of minutes. So um, I have an example here. And it's son las tres y cinco. So son las, because it's three, three, right? Son las tres y cinco. So that means it's three and five. So it's 305. Does that make sense to everybody? Or could we use some more work with that? Like I said, we are gonna have some work with this, but is everybody kind of okay with that? Yes. Okay, good, thank you. You will. So um, just a little bit more um, of our review. Um, so what I went over in the last slide, we know a majority of what we need to know. Um, however, there's a couple tricks that um, come to come with telling time in Spanish. So um, another formula we can use is es or son. Sería. Uh, uh, yeah, so um, we have like another formula here that we can use. Um, and this is kind of like what you um, had a question about on your homework. So um, we're going to use this one, just like we do um, with the, just like we do with the regular, with the other formulas. We're going to use la or loss, the same rules as the other formula, la for one, loss for two to 12. We're going to add a number from 1 to 12, minus, which means minus, and the number of minutes. So basically translates to it's, it's blank minus blank number of minutes. So an example of this is son las dos menos cinco. So that literally translates to it's 2 o'clock minus 5 minutes. Um, another example that we have is es la una menos tres. So it, that literally translates to it's one o'clock minus three minutes. So it's 1257. Does that make sense, everybody? Yeah, I get it a little bit. So for like, so say it's seven after eight. Son la siete después ocho. So yeah, I, yeah, I mean, you could say that, but um, like you could do for that one, if it's 807, you could say, son las ocho. Does that make sense? Son las ocho siete. <laughs> yeah, I got it. So is everybody else okay with that or do we need some more help? One second here. So um, let's go over our homework for today. Um, I actually think I forgot to add in a slide 
So we'll actually go to my other PowerPoint to go over that. I think I could put this in, but that's okay. <coughs> Bless you. Thank you. You're welcome. Oh, okay. So this what about it's a quarter till seven? Yep, right here. We're going to go over that. Working at me. So, um, to say that it's exactly half past the hour, um, such as 1 30, 2 30, things like that, we would say the number plus e media. So, um, an example of that is son las cuatro e media. That means it's 4 30. It, it is four and a half, so it's 4 30. Um, so, the next example is it's one and a half. So it's 1.30. Um, so to say that it's a quarter into the hour, such as it, such as it's 1.15, I'm sorry. It's a quarter into the hour, such as 1.15, 2.15, Something like that, we say uh, number plus e quarto. So that literally means like a number plus 15. So uh, an example is from a single e quarto, which means six, five, and six. So I'll put some last quarto. Say it again. Okay, so let's see. So to say that it's a quarter into the hour, like it's 1 15, 2 15, anything like that, we say it's that number uh, plus e quarto, which means a number and a quarter. So quattro or quattro? Quattro. Quattro. Yep. Yep. And how would you spell it? E U A R. P -O. You said again? C U A R. Uh huh. P O. So that literally translates to the number and a quarter. So it's 515. So um, son las cinco y cuarto. It's five and a quarter hour. So it's 515. Um, son las siete y cuarto is it's seven and an hour and a quarter, so it's seven fifteen. And um, I think that it, um, Isaiah, I think that the one that you had a question about would be this next one to say it's a quarter till the hour, such as like one forty five, two forty five. We say the number menos cuarto. So an, yeah. example, so an example of that is like son las siete menos cuarto. So that literally translates to it's seven o'clock minus 15 minutes. So it's 45. So when we use that, we use the number like above it. So like if it's 645, we use seven. Um, for the next one, it says son las diez menos cuarto. It's 10 o'clock minus 15 minutes. So it's 945. Okay, so I will put son las siete menos cuatro. So, uh, is the what is the time? Does what do, what is the question? Quarter till seven. So, yes, yes. If it's a quarter quarter till seven, it's son las siete menos. Menos, yeah. Yep. So I'm just gonna go out of this PowerPoint and go into our other one because I have um, some practice here for us. Yeah. Okay, so I encourage everyone to um, participate with this. I'm actually gonna, I would love to, if everybody could participate in this because I know everybody's having some problems with this. If you wanna say the answer, if you want to, um, if you wanna type it in the chat, that is completely fine. So give me one second, I'm trying to get out of here so I can edit this. Okay. <laughs> 
Okay. So, for um, let's start here. So it just says match the clocks on the left and right to the span of time in the middle. So let's start with the one that says it's eleven fifty. One. So let's read through these. So we so to show from the first one, it says Son das nueve menos cuarto. So that literally means it's nine o'clock minus a quarter. So that would be. Does anybody want to tell me what that would want to be? I'm sorry, I couldn't hear you. Say it again. So um, in the middle here, we're gonna I'm gonna read through these sentences and we're gonna decide which clock belongs to this one. So uh, for the first one, we have son las nueve menos cuarto. So we have it's nine o'clock minus a quarter hour. So minus 15 minutes. So what is nine o'clock minus 15 minutes? 8.45. Yep. So remember that actually translates to it's nine minus a quarter hour. So 8.45, good job. So you have them. I don't know why it's not lighting up right, but so um, remember in our vocab list from last class, um, we have this one. So is el medio dia. So that means it is uh, noon time or midday. So which one is that one going to be? Well, the second one, that's, uh, that's 12 o'clock. Yeah. Yep. Okay, so for the third one, we have son las ocho and punto. So that literally means it's, it's exactly eight o'clock. Eight o five. You say ocho, say it again. So it's the third one in. Oh, also at a punto, yes, it on the Yep, yep. I know that we didn't go over that too much, but um, en punto means, like, and that is in the vocab list, but um, it does mean like eight o'clock exactly. So, um, for the first, for the fourth one, we have son las tres menos veinte. And if we remember our numbers, we remember that veinte means twenty. And dose is two. So venti dose means twenty-two. So okay, so that's basically two thirty. Two thirty-eight. Yep, it's it's three minus twenty-two. So three minus twenty-two minutes is two thirty. Yes. Yep. So question, if I'm done for uh oh this is homework, this time telling homework, Spanish one time telling homework April twenty sixth. Yeah, yeah, that's the same one. That is the um, that's the one that I posted where it was like um, where it was the telling time part two one. That's just the name of the document. Okay, so this is what we have to turn in today, right? Yeah, yeah, yep. So, do we have any like checkpoints we had to do? Um, I don't really know how that works yet. Um, I did um message Dr. Dave about that. I didn't hear back yet. So, um, and I also messaged him about the lab and I still didn't hear anything. So I'm probably going to send him another message today and see what we can do about that. Um, so I'll let you know if I hear anything about the checkpoint. But um, as of right now, I don't really know how you guys do that. So um, I don't have anything like that set up, but um, I'll let you know if I hear anything. Okay. So let's go back to um, our exercise here. And we're on the fifth one, so this one right here. So we have, es la una y media. And that means it's one and a half. So which one would that one be? Say it again. Es las una y media. That's 1.30. Yep. Mm -hmm. and, and anybody else who... Um, has any questions or anything, let me know. Um, definitely, uh, definitely, if everyone else is um, invited to participate in anything like that, just let me know. Um, so, uh, for the next one, we have, es la medianoche menos diez. 
So that literally means it's midnight minus 10 minutes. So, so, so. 11.50. Yes, right here, 11.50. So that means it's 11 and 12 minutes. Sorry, Isaiah, I just muted you because it was getting loud and I'm not sure, and I wanna make sure everybody else can hear, but feel free to jump in if you need any help. So, uh, or answer or anything like that. So um, for the seventh one here, son las once y doce. That means it's 11 o'clock and 12 minutes. So which one are we gonna use for that one? Anybody wanna take a guess? going to be 11 o'clock and 12 minutes. Oops. Right. So for the next one, for the last one on this one, we have son las cinco menos cuarto. So that's going to be, it's five o'clock minus a quarter hour. So five o'clock minus 15 minutes. Does anyone want to give that one a shot? Nope. Anybody want to give that one a shot? No? Okay, well remember, we have cinco menos cuarto. So it's five o'clock minus a quarter hour. So that'll be 15 minutes. So what's five o'clock minus 15 minutes? It's gonna be 4.45, okay? Okay, so everything that I just went over here, does that make sense to everybody? Are we okay with that? Looking for my pen. There it is. I'm just writing down. We have a couple more people that joined. Okay. So, um, everyone that was here for um, this one, does this make sense to everybody? Are we good with that? I do have a couple more exercises here. So let's move on to um, let's move on to the next one here. I'm just gonna move it over. So we move it over so we have some room to put our answers in. Okay. So um, I actually don't know if we're going to put our answers in for this one, but that's okay. Um, <clears throat> so I know that the um, the directions here are in Spanish, but um, it literally means um, match each of these sentences right here, one through eight, with the correct um, with the cor with the clock at the correct time. So for the first one, does anybody want to tell me in English which time this first clock here is showing? Anybody want to tell me? Okay, so the hour hand is pointing at a little bit after the one, and the minute hand is pointing to about the five. So we're going to go and say that the first clock is 120. Oh, let me see. Okay, give me one second. I got a couple more people to come in. 
Hi, everyone that just came. Um, I know a couple people just joined. Um, it's nice to see everyone. So um, right now, if you weren't here, we're just going over the time here. So um, for number one here, we have es la una y veinticinco minutos. So it's one o'clock and 25 minutes. So which clock is that going to be? Anybody want to tell me? The first one. Yep. Yes. Yep. Good job. So um, for the second one, we have son las tres y media. So does anyone want to tell me what uh, number two means? The 3.30? Yes. Yep. So which clock is that? I mean, I guess it doesn't really matter, but as long as you guys are understanding, you know, what these say. So that would be this one down here. So um, for number three, we have son las cuatro con treinta y cinco minutos. Does somebody want to tell me what that means? For the third one, we have son las cuatro con treinta y cinco minutos. So that means it's four o'clock and 30 and five minutes. So it's 4.35. So if we look at the clocks, we have, it's this one down here, right here. So for number four, we have son las seis y cuarto. It is six and a quarter of an hour. So does anyone want to tell me what that one would translate to? That's the third one. That's six. That's like six forty-five right there. It's six and a quarter, not six minus a quarter. Oh, so six fifteen, right? Yep. yep. So I don't know. Let's see which clock that is. Right, here, fourth one of the the fourth one first row. Yeah. Yep. It's that one. So we're not going to do number five because we didn't really go over like what that means and all that other stuff. Um, so for number six, we have son las doce del mediodía. That should actually be one word. I didn't make this. So um, what it, can anybody tell me what number six means? Son las doce de la mediodía. Yeah. So what does that translate to? That's like 12 in the afternoon, right? Yeah, so which clock is that one? Where your mouse is just at. Right here, yep. So uh, for number seven, we have Es la una y diez. Does anybody want to tell me what that one means? That's one ten. Yep, one and ten. So the fourth one, second row. Yep, right here. So for uh, the last one here, we have son las nueve y cincuenta minutos. Do you want to tell me what that means? There's 9.50. Yep, it's 9 o'clock and 50 minutes. So... Uh, Second one, first row. Yep, that one. Okay. Does anybody have any questions on that or are we okay with that? We just didn't go over number five because we didn't... Okay, so I'm sorry, he gave us barking. So um, for this one, um, let me let me make this smaller so I can make a spot for the answers. Cierra tu boca, huh? Okay, sorry, I had to yell at him to be like one shut up. Okay, so um, for this one. Let's see. So I know that the directions are like a little bit blurry, but that's fine because it's fine because it's pretty obvious what you have to do. So um, this one is a little bit more difficult. 
So um, don't worry about like saying if it's in the morning or at night or anything like that. Just um, let's do the first one here. So how would you say it's 8.30? Son la 8.30. Son last. Remember, we're going to use last because it's a number other than one. So E. Yep. You could say that or you could say son las ocho y media. Yeah. Then tre, son las tre y media. Okay, give me one second. I just have a student in here asking me uh, for the class code. Let's get you the class code here. Okay. Um, I'm just going to stop sharing my screen here real quick so I can send this because it won't let me do it. Okay. So now we can share the screen again. And we'll go back to our exercise. Okay. So back to our exercise. So, um, or let's see. So for number two, it's 3.30. How would we say that? Son las 3.30. Or remember, since it's 3.30, we could say son las tres y media. For the next one, we have it's 11.30. How would we say that? Son las once y media. Okay, so for the fourth fourth one, we have it's one o'clock. How would you do that? Say it again. That's last one. Now remember, we're going to use law, right? Because it's one. We're not going to say loss because loss is for a number other than one. So um, for the next one, we're going to say it's two thirds. How would we say that? Es las do y media. It's phone, right? Yes. Son las dos y media. Yep. Because it's a number other than one. Or, or we could say son las dos y tresa. Either one, they'll know what you're talking about. So um, for the last one, we have it's six o'clock. How would we say that? Son las seis. So good job with that. Um, that's all of the exercises that I have in the PowerPoint, but I figured that we could go over the homework for today. So um, for the first one, we're just, it says to write the um, appropriate form of ser. So we're literally just going to write es or son. So um, oops, I already put it in here. That. Blank la una. Would it be es la una or son las una? Es la una. Yes. Yeah. Yep. And for number two, are we going to put es las dos or son las dos? Son las dos. Yep. And then uh, we just went over uh, the last class, we went over the first one together. So let's do number two, where it says it's seven after eight. How are we going to say that? 
we could even say it. Es ocho siete. So, son las, son las ocho siete. Yep. So, uh, for number three, we have it's a quarter until seven. So, how would we say that? Son las cuatro de siete, right? Let's start with that. It's okay. So let's see. So it's a quarter till seven. So that means it's six. Oh, son las siete menos cuatro. So, yep, that's correct. Um, so it's five until two o'clock. Until two. So it's five minutes until two o'clock. So how would we do that? So you could put. Cinco minutos. No, I say cinco minutos. You could put son las dos menos cinco. Yeah, yeah, you could. I don't know if everybody else learned that, but so I would put it's five minutes till two. So you could put es la una y cincuenta. Cincuenta ocho. No, nope, it would be it's one and two. Oh, five minutes to two. I thought it was two minutes to um yeah, it's cinquenta cinco. Or you could put son las dos menos cinco. So it's two o'clock minus five minutes. Okay. So it's twenty minutes until nine. So how would we say that? So Son las nueve menos veinte. Huh? Yep, that's correct. For number six, how would we say that? It's a quarter past four, so it's four fifteen. Es, you put son las cuatro, cuatro, you can put cuatro después de cuatro, right? Or son las cuatro, cuatro en cuatro. Y cuarto, yep. Yep, you could say that, or you could say son las cuatro. En quince. Yep, either one is correct. So, um, if you want to say it's half past ten, how would we say that? It's ten thirty. Diez y media. Son las diez y media. Yep, that's correct. Good job. And then I think that we went through, yeah, we went through these last ones in the last class. So um, does anyone have any questions about uh, number three or are we okay? Hey, be quiet. So I'm sorry, he's barking at my cat who is laying on my bed and they hate each other. So, okay, so we went over that. Does anyone have any questions about this number? Not really. I turned this one in and then I turned in part three as well. Okay, okay, good. So you're okay? Yes. When was part three due? Um, part three, I'm pretty sure that we just went over that in the last class. Um, yeah, I went over that with everybody because I wasn't sure if you'd understand. It's basically just asking, it's two o'clock in the afternoon. So en las dos de la tarde. Does that make sense? Yeah. No, I did all that. Yeah. I'm yeah. talking about no, I'm talking about for uh oh, for the, Spanish telling. The one that I just posted. Yes. Okay. Sure. I checked it over. You should have it in your Gmail. Okay. So let's check this one out here. So um, this is actually a screenshot that I took. So oh no. Uh oh. Hold on, give me one second. Cool, okay. Um, so actually, I don't know if it'll work with this. Okay, let's see if it works with this. Um, if not, I will convert this to a PDF so you guys can do this. Okay, yeah. 
So um, you should be able to view it. If not, send me an email and uh, I'll work on it. So um, we're gonna circle the time for each clock that's correct. So you're gonna look at the time on each of these clocks, right? And there's two options for each one. So for the first one, your option, your options is es la una y media or es la una y cuarto. So which one are we gonna pick for this clock? Anybody wanna take a guess? So it's 1.15. So it's not gonna be, as la una y media is, it's one and a half an hour. So that would be 1.30, so it's not gonna be that one. So the next one, it, it's one and a quarter of an hour. So it's 1.15, so that is the correct one. So, I mean, if you just want to um, like make a Google doc or whatever and just write your answers in that, that's fine. Um, and like I said, if you have problems viewing this, please let me know. And, uh, and I will find I it. Did, I did all this. Oh, okay, you did this already? Yes. Okay, so I'm just going, I'm just going to go over it for people that didn't do it yet. So um, for the next one, for the second part here, uh, for the first one, we have 115. So you're going to pick which one is correct. So for the, our first option here is son las ocho, which translates to it's eight o'clock. So we're not going to pick that one. And this one is es la una y cuarto. It's one and a quarter hour. So it's 115. So that's the correct answer for that one. So you're just going to pick which one out of the two options. And uh, for this one, you're just going to look at the clocks and you're going to pick the correct one for that. So does that make sense to everybody? Yes. Okay, so the directions are clear for that. Cool. So let's go back to our PowerPoint here. <laughs> so, um, our plans for uh, the next class. We might get some new vocabulary depending on how the channel goes, things like that. Um, we're going to go over uh, number 60 through 20. What am I saying? Um, we're going to go over that homework that I just introduced you to because that's me, please. So we're going to go over the homework that we just that I just gave you for Monday. Um, we're definitely going to do some more more review on the time. And we're possibly going to move on to something else, but we'll see how the homework goes and everything like that. Um, so does anybody have any questions on the homework, any questions on time, anything like that? Um, Quay, I will send you an email then about meeting this. Place. Okay, so if nobody has any more questions, that's all I have for you today. Um, so if you have any, if you need any help with the homework or anything, do not hesitate to email me. Um, I know a couple of you um, just came into class today, and that is completely fine. Um, but definitely, if you're confused or anything like that, send me an email and let me know, and we'll be good. Okay. All right. So I hope everyone has. A, all right. Let me actually. I'm going to swap share my screen here. So, so I hope that everybody has a good weekend.